there was a series of college pranks that were being done in the 50s. Uh, the famous one was goldfish swallowing. And most college students had not much to do on their uh, free time, and so they got involved in these little things. And the target was to get into the Guinness Book of Records. I believe it was the sophomore class, the class of 61, that was responsible for the idea to stuff the phone booth in the first floor Aquinas dormitory. The staging had maybe a little bit more thought, small might be better, but if you take a look at the bodies in the photograph in the Gale, small it was a relative concept. The guys are pretty big when you look at them in terms of uh, height and weight. It was a nice day. We knew we were going to be in a confined space, so having sweatshirts and pants it didn't seem like a logical thing to do. So most people dressed comfortably for the, for the event. Most of us had never seen a phone booth like that, so when it came out to campus, it was like new tech. Uh, and of course, those of us who were in the Aquinas one were wondering how we would ever get the same number of bodies into, this, into less square footage. There were several attempts to do the thing, and the cast of characters that went in and out did change. Uh, if I had my face forward, clearly I could identify it. If I could identify my body part, I certainly would, but I can't swear to it. The fellows that were at the bottom were fairly large and could support some weight. At least weren't, we weren't that stupid. Uh, after that, it was sort of random as to who got on. So from the standpoint of the event, it was sort of happenstance. I think I was sort of in the middle. My children know about it. I'm not sure they're anything more than embarrassed that father would do something like that when he was a teenager. But again, maybe it's the, the teenagers are today are more sophisticated than we were. Uh, they're missing some of the joys of life if they are. It's, it's a piece of history, better yet, it's tradition.